as to Indigenous peoples, again, it, it, we hope to see the rights of the Declaration of the Rights of Indigenous Peoples be asserted. And one of our key issues is um, the, the process of red. Um, indigenous peoples have time and time opposed those, those process because that introduces a market-based mechanism by which multinational corporations really privatize the air and compensate or, or claim to compensate for the uh, greenhouse gas emissions. But in fact, this allows them to continue the emitting and even emit more while they are claiming to, to, have, uh, to protect a forest. The protectors of the forest should not be multinational corporations. The basic premise of uh, individual level economies uh, under the global uh, capitalism and imperialism, uh, it is guided by very basic philosophy of free market economy, which is not just profit, maximizing profit. So when you try to maximize profit, you minimize many things. And I think the things you minimize, uh, if you prepare a list of those things, uh, some total of some of those will be destruction of, of environment and climate change. So money is scarce, so we still need to make sure that we focus on climate change adaptation for our country, but also mitigation. And our biggest contribution, I think, is to show that there are economically successful ways to deliver a low carbon economy. It's and a win-win that, that situation. Win-win-win. Uh, low carbon, uh, create jobs and tackle poverty. If we can do all three of those things, that would be, a, that would be for me, a contribution that Scotland can make to tackle climate change across the world. Well, uh, as, you, as you noted, uh, UNDP of course works with all stakeholders, with government, with civil society. But of course the parliamentarians are the ones who represent the people. They are the constituent representatives. Uh, so they have a direct connection with their communities, with their people. In this way, they can both assist their people to find the right solutions, to develop their own solutions, to adapt to climate change. But they can also help to uh, adjust the behaviors and so on to be more climate sensitive in and of itself. I think it's been a great success. Uh, not only because it represents a first time when such parliament members have come together from so many countries, uh, but also because the members of the delegations that came to Dhaka are from all countries, north and south, developed, developing, the least developed countries, big and small, the most affected and the lesser affected. So this, in a, in a sense, really shows the commitment of all countries to, to, to do something about climate. <laughs> Oh, I'm a